Hello and welcome to the GBR Live Vlog. I'm Caitlin and this week we are discussing Tango, a screenshots, documentation and training tool that might just change how you create, how to guides and maybe even training or tutorials. I will be discussing price, the pros and cons and my overall opinion along with a look inside of Tango. So if this sounds right for you, make sure to keep watching and smash that subscribe button so you can keep watching more tutorials, parenting hacks, and reviews like this. Because on GBR Life, you will find weekly blog posts in addition to a blog, podcast, and an awesome clothing line to keep you comfy and stylish called Mama Koala. Now, let's get into the fun. Right after my seven second intro. Let's get into it. First things first, this is Tango the workflow tool, not the dating app. And like many of you, I first heard about Tango from TikTok. On TikTok, it came up with an advertisement that said this amazing website was just going to take away all of that hard work and time from having to make those how-to guides that most people aren't a fan of creating. And with a whole side of my vlog that's about tutorials, I had to check it out and it did surprise me. Here's what I found out. The desktop app or website brings you in and has you sign up immediately, along with adding the Chrome extension. So already it's clear it works on most sites, but what was nice is they also try to get you into what they do with their own tutorial, giving you an idea of what you would be able to accomplish on their site using their tools. They say they can take screen recordings and turn them into full guides without you having to type up anything and only having to go through the process of what you are trying to guide someone to do, like teaching someone how to send an email. It will record you sending a pretend or real email, and then it would create a guide on how to do it. This way, each time someone asks you how to show them how to create an email, you could just add the step-by-step -step guide that took you a whole five minutes to create because all you had to do was what you always do, just one more time so they can create the guide. Or I should say workflow because Tango calls these guides workflows. And like I said, I had to find out if this worked and it did. So let's talk pros and cons, five each. Pros, number one, it does actually create a guide with written steps. That's the point, right? Two, it's very fast from the moment you sign into the guide. You don't have to try hard to get to what you're looking for. Three, it allows you to update the words, move the steps around, or delete steps in case you made mistakes while recording. Four, it's extremely easy to create an account and to use the tool at all. And then five, there's a desktop app and a website. So the usability is broad enough to make the guides you probably want to make. But there's cons, right? So let's talk cons. One, the steps they write are extremely simple. So adding to it may require a little bit more work editing them than it, they made it seem. Two, there are limitations on the workflows and options unless you pay for it. Three, the app can have issues with other apps when trying to use it at the same time. I specifically had this issue when trying to use TextBlaze and Tango at the same time, but I suspect it's not going to be just a one app issue. Four, you can only download PDFs live embedded or magic copy and magic copying isn't something that works everywhere, but it does work on word. So this is a con that isn't so bad. 
And then five, the prices are a little bit more than many are gonna wanna pay, which I bet you're wondering what this is all going to cost anyway. So let's talk price. Your first option is free, but this is limited to 25 workflows, team functionality up to 25 users, a shared library, recording workflows on a browser side and unlimited workflow sharing and exporting. So now let's talk paying for more with the pro option. Here you will spend $20 a month or 16 if you decide on the annual plan, but that comes out to 192 a year. Uh, 192 is also a $48 savings by going with the annual plan where you will get unlimited workflows for yourself and a team if you have one workspace admin controls and billing, along with capturing workflows on your desktop, not just the browser side, but right on your computer and getting to remove any of the Tango logos and watermarks on the uh, exported files and live shares. Plus you can blur sensitive information during the capture instead of having to worry about it afterwards. Let's talk enterprise. The cost of this is going to be custom because this is a business need and it's going to be according to your needs and their needs but you would get everything in pro and single sign-on whitelisted demands onboarding training data retention management workspace analytics and advanced integrations plenty of options for everybody whether or not they want to pay for this tool but Let's take a look inside so you can see more of what this can do and you can decide if it's right for you. Hello and welcome to the inside of Tango. Or is it the inside of Tango? Actually, what you're looking at is the live embedded tutorial. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is this is actually just a tutorial. I'm actually on my website, GBR Life, and showing you the inside of Tango with a PowerPoint versus a video like this one. But I can also show you that they have the options of giving you PDF forms. So you can actually take these PDFs and send it to anybody that you need after you create it. And you can see on the PDF, it shows, click on archived, click on GBR Life Workspace. And they wrote all that, I did not. None of that was created by me. So this is an entire workflow on the PDF side created by Tango with me not lifting one finger. I did not change anything, any mistakes. I could have changed mistakes, but I didn't because I wanted you to see a full version of what it will do. So other thing I wanted to show you is this is the actual workspace. So you saw the live embedded tutorial, but this is the actual workspace. So you can see I can click on these buttons because this is real. It looks pretty much the same, um, but it's, you know, the actual website. So that's a big difference because I can click on these buttons versus going here and I cannot click on this button. See, nothing happens. So now let's go through this tutorial so you get a better idea about Tango. So inside of it, the first thing you're going to see after you sign up, which is very simple, you just go to Tango, uh, tango.com. I mean, let me actually go back here. It's app.tango.us. But you can, I would heavily suggest going to Google or anything like that and just typing in Tango and making sure that you don't click on the dating app. <laughs> and then from there, after you've created your account or you log in, all you're going to have to do is click on new workflow. But before that, you should see that this is the main place that you're going to work. Now, your first workspace is called personal, but you can label these workspaces anything you'd like. So if I click next, you can see where I decided to create a new workspace so you can see that very thing. Just left side, create, uh, press on it, and then you type Tutorials for GBR Life in this case is what I decided on. Um, and then I pressed create. And you can see on the top left over here, it's telling you what to do. Again, I did not say that. They decided for everyone, you know, exactly what they're going to say. But you can edit it on the free version as well. And then from there, I went to personal so that you can see 
that it shows both workspaces. So technically personal is like a folder and these workspaces are inside of the works, the um, folder, but you can also click on workspace settings and change up, you know, things in there, invite members, upgrade to pro, um, which is going to be beneficial to some and not to all because you do have that 25 workflow opportunity with the free and unlimited after that for $20 a month or 16 if you pay for it annually, which was 192 a year. Okay, so next up, going back over to the GBR Life workspace, I kind of also wanted to show you that if you want to get rid of any of these workflows because you made a mistake or you need to make space, um, you could just go over to Archived. It's as simple as that, and then you'd be able to permanently delete um, within the Archived flow workflow. And we're going to head back over to Workflow with... Um, Tango and show you more about inside of tutorials for GBR Life, the one that I had just created. And I had put the workflow for IFTT in Google because I created an entire video and I wanted to use Tango to see how it worked. And I showed everybody inside of um, If This Then That using Tango. So you can go check out that video anytime um, and see that full tutorial. Um, that might be beneficial, but it's going to look pretty much the same as this. And then from there, I wanted to show you all that you can create a new folder and put all of these things inside instead of calling it, you know, personal <laughs> and create that uh, folder. And I, so I did tutorials for GBR Life, like I mentioned, and I had put this specific workspace in it or work, yes, workspace. <laughs> I'm already forgetting the words and they're right in front of me. Um, you can also edit all of this. So when you go inside of an actual workflow, you don't have to go by everything it says. You can just click on edit and then you can see right over here on the left side of the screen, you can move these up and down or you know actually change the dialogue inside and make it whatever it is that you want so you'll see here that i was clicking on that to show you that i was editing it but the other thing you can do is share and export and that's exactly what you're seeing that i did here i shared and i clicked on share and export and i didn't invite any team members of course you can but instead, I downloaded this so that I can share with you this PDF right here. And that's what this download looks like after I press that download. And then you can also live embed. And this is this live embed. There you go. And you can press next. <laughs> and then you get all of your information. Now, let me go over to tango itself so you can also see this live so if i press new workflow you can see that i can go into any of what i'm actually doing right now i already have i have evernote open so you know i can go in there and i can create a workflow off of that but these are the tabs that i currently have open and i can start a new workflow that way the other thing that I was talking about was archived. Now in here, I don't believe I have anything. Oh, I do, okay. So if I were to just click on this, I can permanently delete, just like I stated. And going back to personal, you can see this was that folder that was created. So I have these two on the outside, but if I wanted to create a new uh, folder and make it really nicely um, organized, I can do that and everything doesn't have to be right outside on the personal and you can just click inside of that folder just like you saw in that tutorial. One last thing, let me show you under share and export that you can also magic copy, which is basically the same thing as your live embedded, but it's not giving you the embedded information um, that you can embed with code or a link, but instead this way you can put this information into Google Docs or Word, I mean, in some of these other tools. The only thing is this is limited to certain places because it's using HTML. 
And then, of course, you can copy and paste uh, Markdown. So the best there part are it is that you can edit that. You know, if I go back over to <laughs> this and say I wanted to edit it, I can do that. I can just go over here, like I was saying, and move this information up and down. And I can change workflow with Tango to work with Tang 1. <laughs> I don't know why it did that other little thing, but I'm going to bring it back to Tango. And then you save it. And you can also edit these as well. I should probably have shown you that. But yes, you can actually update this as well. You can delete just that um, specific information. There is a lot of editing available. Again, this is all under free. And if you are using the Pro, you are going to get a lot more options in customizing the specific workflows because you're going to, while you're capturing, be able to do things like blurring sensitive information. So it, it is gonna be a beneficial tool for some, not for all because there is gonna be a couple things that you may have to do afterwards unless you go for Pro, which is that 16 annually, build or 16 a month with the annual billing or $20 a month if you decide not to do annual and you just pay monthly. Okay, that's truly everything with the inside of Tango. Let's take this conversation to the other side. There you have it, Tango the tool that made how-to guide creation a thing of the past. In my opinion, this is a fantastic screen capture tool as long as you like simple guides or a great way to have a base for those guides you may need to create. But as far as paying for it, I also feel like it's more than most would pay for a tool like this. Maybe $10 a month or as little as $5 a month would make it worth paying for because they do have a few more options of editing with the pro option. If this isn't your day-to-day -day job, creating a quick and simple guide is easy enough on the free side. Do you have any questions about Tango? Comment those questions below. Or are you interested in a review of another product or tool? Let me know with a comment and I'll review it for you. And if you're interested in reviews like this, check out my other reviews just like this one. Well, that's it for this week. Next week, I'm going to discuss ClickUp, an app that replaces them all. At least that's what they're telling everyone. Can one app and site really replace Asana, Monday, Hangouts, Microsoft Teams, and more? So be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon so you will be notified when the next awesome video comes out that may help you in your day-to-day -day life and business. But you don't have to wait until next week because with all of my content on gbrlife.com, and my amazing clothing line called Mama Koala, you don't have to be without GBR life in your life.